What is up, guys and gals, gals and guys? Space Unicorn here bringing you some hot frag action. And today, what we're going to do is something very strange. We're going to take a look at the top 10 cards that need a buff in Frags Pro Shooter. Is one of your favorite cards in need of a buff? Does he make the list? Only time will tell. So I'm going to do the top 10, and then I'm going to take the top 5, and I'm going to play a match with them. And that could become extremely funny and very frustrating so i hope you guys stick to to the end to see that match let's get in to the countdown coming in at number 10 we have ape suit why does ape suit need to change it's because it's primary fire this card seems to struggle greatly in the primary fire department due to several factors number one the fire rate and number two the damage that is delivered he needs to have a damage increase an increased speed while shooting and well honestly his health's pretty good but if you increase his damage a little bit and increase the fire rate on this character, you'll find this character start to sneak into those conversations. Speed while shooting is super important in this game, and this is a prime example of a card that has a good ultimate ability, but a lousy primary fire that combined with slow speed finds himself outside looking in in the meta discussion. What about number 9? Number 9, we have Virus. This is an example of another card who completely fell out of any conversation of relevancy. This is due to a couple of things. Number 1, it's her damage. Don't get me wrong, she has decent burnout. Totals about 76 at level 11. That's not bad. But the real issue is the inconsistency in her fire and her range is inability to actually hit its range. What I mean is it's listed as a certain distance, but doesn't actually shoot that distance. It shoots less. What they need to do to help this character out is increase her damage slightly, increase her health pull, this is where her real shortcoming is, and increase her speed while shooting. This will help her become more viable in the current meta that is in the game, which is speed and damage. Just a suggestion, but that's Virus at number 9. At number 8, we have Scout and Nutty. Squirrel turrets will rule the world. No, I'm just kidding. This card is horrible. Um, major issue with this card is the way the damage is delivered. You'll notice that if you fire this card without shooting at an enemy, you'll notice that the the acorns come out in different patterns every single time with no repetition. This allows for no consistent damage numbers from this character on anything other than point blank range. While the damage is actually okay at point blank, it doesn't sustain over distance, thus making this card extremely vulnerable with a very large hitbox and very slow speed. This card needs some love. Next up at number 6, we have Gigagoo. This card's a hot mess, and honestly, you can make a case that he deserves to be higher up the list. The only reason I don't have him higher up the list is the ultimate ability can be really good in a pinch situation. Um, primary Fire on this needs a total rework. It is not consistent, nor is it viable in any form of range, and it doesn't do nearly enough damage. I would recommend increasing the damage substantially and reworking the delivery method for the damage to maximize this card's potential, as this is a fantastic design with poor execution that ends. Very slow, health's okay, but needs these reworks. At number 6, and arguably should be higher, we have Slimer. Slimer is kind of weird. Honestly, he doesn't do enough damage, he's too slow, his ultimate ability is next to useless, and he has a gigantic headshot hitbox. This card needs a damage increase, needs a movement speed increase, needs a health pool increase, almost an entire rework, which is crazy to think, because he was just reworked relatively recently. This card is not in a good place and is not getting played by anybody who is trying to gain trophies. That's Slimer, guys. At number 5 is everybody's favorite, Dan the Man. This card has been irrelevant since the game began. Um, honestly, damage is not good for the way it is delivered. Fire rate's too slow. Health pool's okay. Um, could use a minor increase. But I think with this character, the real issue is the way the damage is delivered and the consistency at which it can be delivered. You need to be able to track extremely well to even do anything with this character. And whenever you're doing something, it's still not enough because this card does not do enough damage. Increase the damage, increase the health slightly, and you might have a chance... Oh, I forgot about fire rate. Increase the fire rate as well. And you might have a chance to make this card decent. Number four, we have Vlad the Impaler of... I make swirly clouds that 
do absolutely nothing. You know, whenever he first came out, they used to pick you up and you could shoot from a top tornado. I think you'd really help this character out if you increased his damage a bit more, added more movement speed, and made it so his tornado could travel in a linear path, picking up whoever's in the path, as opposed to being stationary and being next to useless. Make it last a little longer, and you could have a really cool ultimate ability that could be used in situationals, situations and to win fights. Check it out. Just a suggestion. That's my thoughts on Vlad. Now on to the top three, and starting at number three, this is where the dumpster fires start, guys, and that's Longshot. Fred can't seem to figure out a true sniper in this game. Longshot needs a few things. He needs a health increase. He needs to be able to one-shot certain characters. I mean, don't make it so you can one-shot tanks and all characters, obviously. But he should be able to one-shot those lower health to low mid-health characters. Just uh, would help with his viability so much because offense is so low health and speed based. Make this card playable. We want long shot. Player himself wants long shot. I want long shot. Bring this buff. Make it happen. Number two, and honestly, you can make a case that this should be number one. Bot Mama. This character needs a 100% overhaul. She doesn't have enough health. She doesn't have enough movement speed. She does no damage. Let's put it this way: if you're shooting a Dan. At the same level. Dan will outheal you. And his health will never drop below full. If you're shooting him. The bots are brain dead. They go to one tower or the other. And that's. I guess that's fine. Because it's AI. But they're horrible. You'd be better up setting like little turrets. That actually trap people. This character is in bad shape, and honestly, I would trash this and rework the whole thing. And at number one, we have the dumpster fire that was put out and caught fire again. That is Captain Polar. This is undoubtedly the worst card in the game. It combines the worst of all worlds. Number one, it's a sniper and frag. Always a bad combination. Number two, it is slow, has zero damage, 47 damage from a sniper. What? No health. No movement speed. This card's bad, guys. Um, the one, There is one thing I like. I like the fact that if you hit a target three times, they popsicle. I think that's a unique ability. They should keep that. But you must increase his damage, increase his range, and decrease bullet travel. This should be a hit scan. This card needs love badly. And I would strongly recommend buffing him. Now, with that being said... We're going to move in a match with the five worst cards and see if we can get a win. Alright, so guys, I've shown you the top ten cards that need to be fixed in Frag Pro Shooter. There are some others that deserve to be on this list, but I need to explain to you guys the purpose of this video. Um, the purpose of this video is to kind of put it out there, what, the card, what cards really need it and what cards just should be left alone. We've seen constant buffs and nerfs, and don't get me wrong, a lot of the cards that they're buffing and nerfing do need it, but they're not in the most severe or worse place as some of these other cards. And so by doing this video, it's because we love the game, we love the characters, we want the devs to see that, hey, these are the ones that really need it the most right now. Let's dial in and key in on those and let's stop feeding the cannon fodder a little bit. It's just kind of a directional thing, guys. It's because we enjoy the game, because we like the game so much, that this stuff has to be adjusted. These characters cannot be left the way they are. They're, like I said, they're not the only ones. Realistically, you probably could have made a 30-card list of cards that need to be worked on before they get to some of the minute changes they're currently doing. Uh, and that's just an opinion of mine. I know you guys have your own. I'd also love to know who your top 10 cards are that need to be fixed in Frag Pro Shooter as well, as I believe your opinion in the comments can be valuable to the devs if they read the comments as well. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Enjoy the rest of this match with the five worst cards in Frag, and I will see you, Legends, next time. Bye-bye! Phase is under attack. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! 
It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good Fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong I won't stop to the top, so you better back off I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud Never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth Can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, not what I'm about Have your fucking cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round Bitch, I'm legend bound, can't stop me now You don't wanna fuck with me Slow burn. 